Storytime friends and welcome to another episode of Crossroads Silk Road Storytime. If you've tuned in recently, you might have visited Colombia with us or perhaps you've been to Haiti with us. This time we're taking you to China with a lovely story about a girl who receives a magic paintbrush. If you've tuned in to Storytime before, you would know that we often do a craft in our Storytime and today we're going to be crafting a paintbrush. It might not be magical, but it will be beautiful. If you'd like to take a moment just to get a few things ready for your craft later on, then please do. Here are some of the things that you're going to need. A stick for your paintbrush. It could be something else, but I found a stick from my garden. Some colorful string to decorate your paintbrush with. I've got a few different options here. You're going to want something for the bristles of the paintbrush. I've chosen feathers, but you might like to choose some hay or something else. And finally, a few things to decorate with. I've chosen some beads here. Uh, you might like to choose bells or something else. And finally, to finish off the craft, you'll want a pair of scissors and some tape. If you've got those things ready, we're going to continue. And first things first, we're going to be finding China on our Silk Road Storytime world map. So let's go do that now. Today, we're particularly interested in this big continent of Asia. And China on our world map today is the biggest blue country. It's an easy one to spot, hey? Here it is. So we've looked at the world map, we're experts on where China is, and we've seen some pictures of what life is like in China. Now it's time to have a look at our story. Our story today is a book called The Magic Paintbrush, and it's by a lady called Julia Donaldson, and with pictures by Joel Stewart. Before we go any further, we need to get ready for some good listening. So first of all, let's find our storytime bottoms and wriggle them down. Let's find our storytime ears and click them on. Click, click. And finally, our storytime eyes. Shakum, shakum. And everyone was nice and quiet. The magic paintbrush. Go and catch some shrimps, Shen. Go and catch some fish. Go and gather oysters to fill the empty dish. Shen sits on the seashore. A stick is in her hand. She sits there drawing pictures, pictures in the sand. She draws a flower, a flying fish. She draws a boat at sea. A hen, a hare, a dancing dog, a weeping willow tree. The waves roll in and wash away the pictures in the sand. But on a rock, there sits a man, a brush is in his hand. He looks around, he calls to Shen. Come here, he whispers, hush. We don't want all the world to know about this magic brush. He slips the brush into her hand and tells her to be sure, never to paint for wealthy folk, but only for the poor. Did you catch some shrimps, Shen? Did you catch some fish? Did you gather oysters to fill the empty dish? No shrimps, no fish, no oysters. Shen laughs and runs inside. She paints a pot, then stands and waits until the paint has dried. The paint dries on the paper. The painting of the pot is not a painting anymore, but real and steaming hot. The pot is full of shrimps, Shen. The pot is full of fish. The pot is full of oysters to fill the empty dish. The village people hear the news. Into the house they crush. The young and old all want to see Shen and her magic brush. She paints a melon for a boy, a ladder for a man, a basket for a woman, and for a girl, a fan. And soon the news spreads far and wide and people stand in queues for blankets, boats and buffaloes, for hats and coats and shoes. The news spreads over fields of rice and over desert sands until at last, inside Shen's house, the powerful emperor stands. I order you to paint a tree and make it very big. Instead of leaves, paint golden coins, a hundred on each twig. Shen shakes her head. Your majesty, I promise to be sure never to paint for wealthy folk, but only for the poor. 
The emperor scowls and stamps his foot. He bellows to his men. Seize the magic paintbrush and seize the girl called Shen. Now Shen sits in a prison upon a cold stone floor. She waits there till the emperor opens the prison door. He holds the magic paintbrush. He orders, paint that tree. Paint me my tree of golden coins and then you shall go free. Shen takes the brush and bowing low says, gracious majesty, come back here in the morning and you shall have your tree. That night, the emperor lies in bed and dreams about his tree, while Shen is busy painting a horse and then a key. The key turns in the prison door and Shen stands free outside. She climbs onto the horse's back and swiftly starts to ride. Where are my coins? The emperor shouts. Where is my golden tree? Where is the magic paintbrush? He cries. Who let the girl go free? He climbs onto his fastest horse and rides with all his men. Over the fields and desert sands, they gallop after Shen. It's Shen, it's Shen, she's back again. The neighbors gather round, but Shen is painting silently while distant hoofbeats sound. She paints a mighty river, a river deep and wide. The emperor and all his men stop on the other side. The emperor scowls and stamps his foot. He shakes his fist at Shen. I'll swim across your river, and so will all my men. But Shen is busy painting, a beast with scales and claws. Its scarlet wings are open, and flames curl from its jaws. My dragon needs a tail, says Shen, and then it will be real. Yes, then it will be roaring and ready for a meal. Now shall I paint that tail, she asks, or would you rather go? She dips her brush into the pot. The emperor cries out, no. He turns his horse and rides away. Away ride all his men. Shen takes the magic paintbrush and starts to paint again. She paints a mound of golden rice and cakes like little moons and drums and flutes till all the streets ring out with merry tunes. The sun goes down, the moon comes out and shines as bright as day while Shen and all the villagers dance the night away. And that's the end of our story. What a great story, hey, about Shen and her magic paintbrush. Well, think a bit more about how Shen used her special gifts to help the poor at the end of this video. But for now, we're going to do our craft. Are you ready? So for our craft time today, we're going to be making a special magical paintbrush of our very own. And here's mine. I'm going to show you how to make this, but you might like to do a variation on this and that's absolutely fine. So the first thing you need is your stick. You might have found a nice straight stick. I just collected one from the garden. And then the next thing that you want to pull together are the things that you want to use for the brush part of the paintbrush. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to be using some feathers, but you might like to use some hay or some grass or something else all together that you found in your home. Then you're going to want to choose some string and I've got a piece of string that I've got here and we're going to use that string to wrap it around the feathers and around the brush to secure them to the brush. So we're going to put our brush and our feathers together like this and hold them with one hand. Then we're going to get our string in the other hand and we're going to start winding it around and around and around and around and around. You might like to use lots of different types of string to make your magical paintbrush as colourful as possible. As you can tell from the one I'd made earlier, I used a few different colours. And the other thing I did was I used some special beads to make it even more colourful. I also thought it might be fun to put some bells on, so if you've got bells at home, you might like to attach them as well. The next bit of the craft is entirely up to you. You might like to use your magical paintbrush to do a special kind of painting. I'd like to introduce you to my good friend Alice. She knows how to do very special painting just like Shen does in our story today. And we're going to go over and have a look at what she does with her magical paintbrush. Hi, I'm Alice and this is my magic brush. 
So I'm going to show you how to make some drawing with this magic brush. I made some grapes, some corn and a boat. And what you need, you can also make it. And what you need is a Chinese brush like this. But please remember to decorate your magic brush to make it more magic. And what you need is a piece of paper. It would be particularly good if you have the Chinese paper like this. And what you need is some Chinese ink. And what you need is some water as well. I'm going to show you how to draw a boat and a paddle and a fishing net. Wow, what a wonderful picture Alice painted, hey? If you make a picture with your magic paintbrush, we would absolutely love to see it. So why don't you get an adult to send it in so that we can see it too? Just before we close off, let's think a little bit more about Shen. Shen used her skills and the things that she had around her to help the poor. I wonder if we can do something similar. I wonder if we can have a think about who the poor are in our community and what they need and then have a think about what skills we have and what things we have around us that we could use to help them. If you'd like to help the poor alongside Crossroads, we would absolutely love you to do so. And at the very end of this video, there'll be a link to our website where you can find out more about what we do and how we try and make a difference in this world. We'd love to have you work alongside us and we look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.